My name is Perry and you're watching Ocean Capable Small Sailboat. This is a scow bow mini cruiser sailboat that I'm building. Basically my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable 14 foot sailboat that's watertight and custom built to cross oceans. It features a cabin I can sleep in and even operate the boat from while staying dry and out of the elements. She'll sail anywhere the larger boats can, but at a fraction of the operating, storage, and maintenance costs. Please subscribe and follow along as I work towards launching her. Hey guys, welcome back. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how I make these non-metal rope tie-down mounts. Now, I need to make four like this, two half this size, and then 26 of a disc style. So I got a lot to do, let's get started. The purpose of these mounts is to secure cargo in both the aft cargo hold and in the storage compartments on the port and starboard sides. The first thing I did was to make a plywood template. This way I could make all my larger mounts exactly the same size with the holes for the ropes in the same place. I tapped through each hole with a nail to mark where I need to drill. Then I used a cap for a small spray can to make the rounded edges. If anyone out there wants to make one of these, this is the plan for it. Minus 66 millimeters square, a little more than two and a half inches. And then I drilled the holes 13 millimeters or about half an inch from the center line. For the larger mounts, I found that an 11 centimeter or four and a half inch piece of rope worked best. Then I seized two lines together using some strong thread. I did about 15 wraps and then a couple half knots. This was simple enough following some instructions I found online on a website called schoonerman.com. I'll put that link in the description. And in the end, I just used my fingernails to push all those threads together and make it look neat.
using any kind of pick tool, you can fray the ends of the rope. one and a half inch or 38 millimeter hole saw. Now I'm gonna make the disc style mounts. These are for the storage compartments. So rather than having doors that close off the storage compartments, I'm just trying to do things as simply and light as possible. And I'm gonna use a bunch of these tie down mounts. I had to drill the hole a little bit larger and then all of these got beveled, just like the other pieces. For this, I found a 9.5 centimeter line worked best. I actually ended up making a total of 30 of these little ones. And here they are all lined up, ready to be installed. Okay, I'm gonna do an epoxy session and I'm gonna try and do a few things at once. I don't know how much I'll be able to film. I'll do my best, but it's kind of difficult once we get the epoxy mixed up. Basically, first I'm gonna soak these in epoxy and then I'm gonna mix up a little thickened epoxy and spread it where they're gonna go. So the round disc ones are gonna go one, two, three, four. And then eventually on the hull inside, there'll be one, two, three, four, and another one here eventually. Same on the opposite side. But anyway, today is just these four. This one is going to go in this corner here. That'll go to a, a seat belt I got that'll keep me in place when I'm sleeping. And there'll be another seat belt here and another one here. I'll show you later on in the video. Now here is not going to get a rope tie down mount, nor is over here because I've got the oak keel support beams, so I'm just gonna use a typical stainless pad eye with a longer bolt. So that covers all these and this. And then the last one is, I call this a spider mount. Four of these spider mounts are going to go back here in the aft cargo hold, so one in each corner. Hey, while I prepare to epoxy on those pieces, don't skip. This will only take 20 seconds. I just wanted to show you this run of t-shirts I designed. Here's the front and the back, and here's a few different colors you can get. If you want to support the channel and you like the look of it, please buy one. The link is down in the description. Thank you.
Luckily, my wife came down and helped me out by being the camera lady. Unfortunately, she has no interest in being in a video, but I was glad to have her help as a camera woman. I made sure to prepare ahead of time so that I could weigh these pieces down without pushing down on the rope in the middle. For this one, I put three large nails in a piece of pallet wood and used that to press down on only the wood, leaving the rope sticking up. Okay, that's six non-metal tie-down mounts installed. Now I made a total of 30 and I put the extras in these baggies here. And what I'll do is whenever I have some other fiberglass work to do, I'll grab another six. That's 20% uh, of the 30 each time. So I only have four more sessions like that to do and then they'll all be installed. Now the ones that were in the center line, two were stainless pad eyes, one was a rope tie down mount, are going to be for seat belts. And I wanna show you guys these cool seat belts I got. I went ahead and got the airline style, which I thought was pretty cool. I bought three of these lap belts to secure myself while I'm sleeping, kind of like a lee cloth. And once everything's installed, it'll look like this. It costs a little extra maybe than other options, but it'll be worth it. Very, uh, you know, quick to release. If you want to support the project, you can do that right now by um, buying a t-shirt, like I mentioned earlier, through the link in the description. Or there's other links like PayPal if you want to make a direct contribution. Or you can purchase something off the Amazon wish list. Or there's Patreon, which comes with the benefit of seeing videos 24 hours earlier and a couple other benefits. But hey, if nothing else, if you just want to leave a like, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, that helps me out too. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Well, now let's make all preparations for getting underway. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, we get back to your station. I'll have you fucked with this here. Well, shoot some.